Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial and I want to talk about mouse gestures. Uh, mouse gestures are well known in programs like Opera or Firefox. A mouse gesture is something that you do with your mouse. For instance, if I were to hold my right mouse button, I can draw a line. Now, um, what I want to talk about is not the mouse gestures you can perform in uh, Firefox or Opera, but the ones you can perform in Windows. Now, for this, we need a program named Stroke It. Uh, you can Google Stroke It and first hit um, leads to the website where you can download it. It's a freeware program, so it's uh, great. When you install Stroke It, it will show up as an icon in the lower right of your taskbar. If you right-click your mouse on it, it will disable stroke it, so now you cannot perform any more mouse gestures. Right-click it again, and it will enable it. If you left-click the icon, it will pop up the command editor. Now, in the command editor, you can specify commands for certain programs or global actions. What I want to talk about is global actions for now. So let's open global actions and look what's in there. As you can see here, um, there's anime 2, 3, and 4. What I want to do is create anime 1. Anime 1 is a folder name on my computer that I lose a, use a lot uh, for the content that I download from the internet. So let's create it. Let's right click it, add new action, and rename the new action into anime 1. Right click it, rename, type anime 1. Now we have anime 1. Now we need to figure out the gesture we want to go uh, when we want to go to the folder anime 1. So in this case we can drop down, click this drop down list and choose a gesture to go with it. Um, I want to draw the number 1 because it's uh, handy to use. Uh, for anime 1 draw a 1, for anime 2 draw a 2, etc. So add this ge gesture and now we can draw the number one to uh, execute a command. As you can see, there's no command uh, going with anime one at this time. So right click it, choose new command, and this will give you this uh, window here. In this case, we want to open a folder. So just to uh, make things more easy to understand, let's just name it open folder. And now we can choose uh, what kind of command we want to uh, use. Um, in this case, we can uh, choose uh, from this list here to run a program. Or we want to use uh, uh, key combinations uh, to go um, with our gesture. <coughs> in this case, we want to run a program. So all we have to do now is locate the program that we want to run that can open folders. In this case it's uh, explorer.x. So hit the browse button, go to your Windows directory and type in ex and it will give you uh, two options and choose explorer.x. Open it and now when you perform the gesture it will open this program. Now if we want to go to a certain area on our computer we need to give you uh, give it some arguments. So in this case we want to go to um, uh, DW slash anime1. In this case it's located here. DW slash anime1. Let's just copy it, go back to stroke it, and paste it in the arguments. Now close the program. So if we now were to perform uh, the number one as a mouse gesture, it should open anime one. Let's try it. There you go, anime one. If you were to draw a two, it should open anime two. There you go, anime two. And as you can see, um, with these mouse gestures, um, it will make things a lot more easy in life if you work with uh, certain areas on your computer a lot. If 
we go into this folder and we want to go back we can just draw from right to left if you want to go into the folder again we ju just draw the mouse gesture from left to right and we go back into the folder if we want to close it we can just draw this symbol which is down right as you can see in <coughs> global actions close is a down right motion so this is uh, my tutorial if you want to find more information I recommend going to the stroke it website thank you for watching